Forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, let us press toward the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Well, welcome to everyone to St Catherine's in Macrae today for this 18th Sunday after Pentecost. Today, we as the Church rejoice in being the vineyard of the Lord, but at the same time, we have cause for much heart-searching and much prayer. Let's begin with our first hymn, Take My Life and Let It Be. As we now say together, Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. Jesus said, This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbour as yourself. Lord, have mercy on us, and write your law in our hearts by your Holy Spirit. The Collect Prayer for this 18th Sunday after Pentecost. Let us pray. Almighty God, your Son Jesus was the stone rejected by the builders. And by your doing, he has been made the chief cornerstone. Grant that by the power of his Spirit working in us, we may become living stones built up into your dwelling place, a temple holy and acceptable to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in unity with the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. 
Amen. Now our scripture readings. A reading from the book of Exodus. Then God spoke all these words. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourself an idol, whether in the form of anything that is in heaven above, or that is on the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not make wrongful use of the name of the Lord your God, for the Lord will not acquit anyone who misuses his name. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days you shall labour and do all your work. Honour your father and your mother so that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. You shall not murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbour, you shall not covet your neighbour's house, you shall not covet your neighbour's wife, or male, or female, slave, or ox, or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbour. When all the people witnessed the thunder and lightning, the sound of the trumpet, and the mountain smoking, they were afraid and trembled, and stood at a distance, and said to Moses, You speak to us, and we will listen, but do not let God speak to us, or we will die. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid, for God has come only to test you and to put the fear of him upon you so that you do not sin. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> the response to the psalm the commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork. One day tells its tale to another and one night imparts knowledge to another. Although they have no words or language and their voices are not heard, their sound has gone out into all lands and their message to the ends of the world. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. In the deep has he set a pavilion for the sun. It comes forth like a bridegroom out of his chamber. It rejoices like a champion to run its course. It goes forth from the uttermost edge of the heavens and runs about to the end of it again. Nothing is hidden from its burning heat. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The Lord, the Lord is perfect and revives the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure and gives wisdom to the innocent. The statutes of the Lord are just and rejoice the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean and endures forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, more than much fine gold, sweeter far than honey, than honey in the comb. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. By them also is your servant enlightened, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can tell how often he offends? Cleanse me from my secret faults. The commandment of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes. Above all, keep your servant from presumptuous sins. Let them not get dominion over me. Then shall I be whole and sound and innocent of great offence. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. The commandments of the Lord is clear and gives light to the eyes.
A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. If anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews. As to law, a Pharisee. As to zeal, a persecutor of the church. And as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as lost because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him. Not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes through faith in Jesus, the righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not have I already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on towards the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, listen to another parable. There was a landowner who planted a vineyard, put a fence around it, dug a wine press in it and built us a watchtower. Then he leased it to tenants and went to another country. When the harvest time had come, he sent his slaves to the tenants to collect his produce. But the tenants seized his slaves and beat one, killed another and stoned another. Again he sent other slaves, more than the first, and they treated them in the same way. Finally he sent his son to them, saying, They will respect my son. But when the tenants saw the son, they said to themselves, This is the heir, come. Let us kill him and get his inheritance. So they seized him, threw him out of the vineyard and killed him. Now, when the owner of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those tenants? They said to him, he will put those wretches to a miserable death and lease the vineyard to other tenants who will give him the produce of the harvest time. Jesus said to them, have you never read in the scriptures the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, and it is amazing in our eyes. Therefore, I tell you, the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to a people that produces the fruits of the kingdom. The one who falls on this stone will be broken to pieces, and it will crush anyone on whom it falls. When the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they realised that he was speaking about them. They wanted to arrest him, but they feared the crowds because they regarded him as a prophet. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise yes, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Let's now pray.
And so let us pray to God, by whose grace we are members of the kingdom of heaven. As we look for the full revelation of your glory, keep us faithful in work and in worship. Defend the church against the assaults of evil to yield a good harvest from the planting of your holy word. Root out, we pray, all the evil things that mar the goodness of your world. Give the glorious liberty of the Spirit to those who live only for the demands of the flesh. And shield our families from all assaults of evil. Bless our local community and keep it free from corruption. And guide with your Holy Spirit those who hold responsibility for health and for environment. Visit the afflicted with the assurance that their sufferings will pass. Restore health to damaged bodies and to troubled minds. We've been asked especially to offer prayers for Chris McGregor, Tony Stevens, Ron Warwick, Diane Ward, Rachel Hopkins, Andrea Wales, Frida Downs, Gordon Dawson, Kay Calrow, Mickey Ashton, Cody Steele, Edie Morris, Vera Healy, Greg Hewson, Taylor Miranda Reese, Isaac, Judy, Kelly, Brendan, Marissa, Keith, Craig, Jono and Diane. And grant that the faithful departed may be joint heirs with Christ's share in his glory. And have mercy on all souls at this time of judgment, when good and evil shall be revealed together. And so may these our prayers, purified from fault and error, be heard through Christ, the Son of Man, and the Lord of all. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, we who would come to the Holy Communion of the body and blood of our Saviour Christ, must consider how St Paul exhorts us to examine ourselves before presuming to eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For the benefit is great if with a penitent heart and lively faith we receive that Holy Sacrament. We then spiritually eat the flesh of Christ and drink his blood. We dwell in Christ and he in us. We are one with Christ and Christ with us. Yet also the danger is great if we receive the bread and cup unworthily. Judge yourselves, therefore, that you be not judged of the Lord. Repent truly of your sins, having a steadfast faith in Christ our Saviour. Amend your lives and love your neighbour. Above all, give hearty thanks to God for the redemption of the world by the death and passion of our Saviour Christ, truly God and truly human, who humbled himself to death on the cross for us sinners, that he might make us children of God and raise us to eternal life. You who truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbours and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God, and walking in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take his holy sacrament to strengthen and comfort you. But first, let us make a humble confession of our sins to Almighty God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge with shame the sins we have committed by thought, word and deed, against your divine majesty, provoking most justly your wrath and indignation against us, we earnestly repent, and are heartily sorry for all our misdoings. Have mercy on us, most merciful Father, for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake. Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please you in newness of life, 
to the honour and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy has promised forgiveness of sins to all who with heart of repentance and true faith turn to him, have mercy on you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear the words of assurance for those who truly turn to Christ. Jesus said, Come to me, all who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. The saying is sure and worthy of full acceptance, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. If anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the perfect offering for our sins. Lift up your hearts. Give to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, Lord, mighty, creator and eternal God. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with the whole company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Glory to you, O Lord Most High. We do not presume to come to your table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same, Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. All glory to you, our Heavenly Father, for in your tender mercy you gave your only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, who made thereby his one oblation of himself once offered a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray, and grant that we who receive these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, according to your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who on the night he was betrayed took bread. When he had given you thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which will be given up for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen.
as our Saviour Christ has taught us, we are confident to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, we, your humble servants, entirely desire your fatherly goodness, mercifully to accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, and to grant that by the merits and death of your Son, Jesus Christ, and through faith in his blood, we and your whole church may receive forgiveness of our sins and all of the benefits of his passion. And here we offer and present to you, O Lord, ourselves, our souls and bodies to be a reasonable, holy and living sacrifice, humbly beseeching you that all we who are partakers of this holy communion may be fulfilled with your grace and heavenly benediction. And although we are unworthy through our many sins to offer you any sacrifice, yet we pray that you will accept this, our bound of duty and service, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offences. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, Father, world without end. Amen. We say together now the Gloria in excelsis. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Let's now sing our final hymn, I Know That My Redeemer Lives.